The most accurate forecast in the Ozarks seven years in a row. Well, about an hour ago here in Springfield, it got loud. I was walking outside, saw the lightning, knew it was coming. And I mean, it's nice outside right now to have some showers before we head to bed. Good weather to go to sleep to. I know that's for sure. Now, most of those thunderstorms are already out of our viewing area, but we still have some heavy bands of showers, including all the way through Waynesville, down through Houston, Mountain View and Eminence. And then we also have some heavier bands over in Branson. One, two lightning bolts. So yes, that is a thunderstorm. Storm. Also, we have a few lightning bolts just towards the south of Mount Vernon at this time. Now, as we head into tomorrow, we already have a chance for some strong to severe storms, a level three out of five for the areas in this orange. So that includes Highway 65 and east. Now, if you live west of Highway 65, you're under that slight risk of level two out of five. Any storm that gets going tomorrow will have the potential to have a tornado large hail up to golf ball size and very, very windy conditions as well. And straight line winds can do as much damage as a tornado. So please keep that in mind. Now timing all this out for you as we head into tonight, those showers and storms making their way towards the east and the north. And then as we head into tomorrow, you start to see some showers popping up at 10 a.m. The good news is this bad boy is going to be moving towards the north. So that's going to be moving out of our region very, very quickly. But as we head throughout the day more storms are going to be popping up. This is 12 p.m. So showers and storms popping up mainly along that highway 65 and moving towards the east. And these are the storms that we're going to be keeping a very, very close eye on to see if there is any severe weather or even a tornado warning associated with those because they're looking like super cells from our data. Now those are going to be moving off very quickly. So by three, four, five o'clock out of our region, we're going to have clearing skies, very, very windy conditions though. So make sure to keep that into account as you head out the door tomorrow. The good news is flooding going to be very, very, very low just because we're not really going to have all that much rain with these showers and storms. Wind advisories, we have those posted all across the Ozarks and that's because winds are going to be between 20 and 30 miles an hour sustained, gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Now as we head just towards the west of Springfield. We already have that high wind warning that will be going into effect at 1 p.m. tomorrow until 7 p.m. And that's because sustained winds in that area going to be between 30 and 40 miles an hour with gusts up to 60. So it is going to be a very, very windy day on top because of the warm conditions, because of the low humidities and because of the windy conditions, we have elevated fire level risk for a majority of our region. Red flag warnings already posted from 2 p.m. until 10 p.m. tomorrow night. And that's because we're going to have all the ingredients for fire. So if a fire does start, it is going to spread very rapidly and it is going to be very, very difficult to get it under control. So please, please, please don't burn anything tomorrow. Temperatures tonight 57 degrees here in Springfield as we head into tomorrow 74 here in Springfield 74 down in Branson. Those winds kicking up from the south at 20 to 30 miles an hour. If you're wanting a nice weekend, well, this is the weekend for you. We're going to have sunny skies all day on Saturday. We're going to have a few clouds here and there on Sunday. Now Saturday going to be a little bit cooler at 56, 57 degrees as we head into Sunday 71 mild and breezy. So that is going to be a very nice day. Hey, remember guys tomorrow stay weather aware Mike all right